Hey everybody, welcome back to the Legend of Ashley. Leon's awakening. Oh look, Leon's waking up. Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm going to continue my mission. Well, that went well. Let's see. Ooh, I know. Let's see. An honest letter. There's an important item hidden in the falls. If you are able to get it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church isn't a walk in the park by any means. They've employed what's called an El Gigante. So God bless. But what's been going on with your body? In your body? If I could help you, I would, but unfortunately it's beyond my power. Who the hell wrote this? Oh well. I'm gonna clear out my inventory and uh, we're gonna jump back on the boat actually because look at our map right now. There's a merchant across the lake for some reason now. It was locked when we were on the Del Lago boss fight, but well, the lake is uh, pretty, uh, pretty safe now. Although it is raining. Does she move boxes slower or is it just me? I mean, Leon is probably more built to move these things. I know in Resident Evil 5, Chris can move boxes faster than Shem. But that made sense because, you know, he's bulk. At last we get the green gem here, or I'll get masked, but we'll combine them as soon as I get all the pieces. For now, we'll just leave it where it is. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Ah, uh, since I shot 15 of the blue medallions instead of 10, he has that new weapon for us. What are you buying? It is the Punisher. And because you shoot 15 of the medallions, he upgrades its firepower by one for free. So that's pretty nice. I need to make room for it, though. So what are you selling? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> is that all, stranger? Uh, hold on to a hand grenade. It might be helpful later. Um, yeah. Is that all? <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. I swear the original game had scrolling text. Now it just auto pops up price. because high definition. <laughs> Thank Those you. cat eyes. We're gonna need one more, I think, sometime down the road. What are you buying? And this is why I didn't upgrade my pistol is that because old I knew stranger? I could get free 15 bullets. <laughs> six Thank you. Whatever. Is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Thank We're you. We're not gonna bother with the. F mm, I guess we could upgrade the firepower. Is that? <laughs> <It'll help. laughs> Thank you. But yeah, okay. What are you Let's see if we buying? Have that Punisher now. Because it is a pistol, and by this point, you could sell your handgun and use the Punisher from throughout. It's not a bad little weapon. It punches a hole through uh, two enemies at once, so that might be helpful in the future. But honestly, I prefer the handgun out of all the weapons in the game. There is another handgun down the road that most players would probably use, and we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, let's put the Punisher in our inventory, and then I'm going to immediately sell it for the Pesetas back, because, hey, free money. <laughs> what are you selling? 
Ah. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? I think it's about the time I bought the, the TMP. Is that? There we go. I got the room for it. Because it is going to be very helpful against the boss up ahead. You can buy the <laughs> stock for it. <laughs> Thank it makes you. the aiming a little bit better, but not necessary. Maybe... No, even on the Wii version, your aiming is probably the best because of the motion controls, but... No, the, the stock is pretty optional. I, I don't use it myself for this, uh, this run. What are you buying? Is 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 Alright. Just one stop to look at all of his weapons. Quite a little collection he's got here. There's some bolt action rifles that is that a semi-automatic or is that that is the Chicago Top Raider though? Those are TMPs. Look how low res they are. Yo, you have a bundle of eggs? Give me some of those. And he has all this ammo, but he won't sell it to you. I mean, if you've seen Terminator and some company, you know why you don't sell them. You don't sell ammo. To people. You can't go back the way you came, which is through the lake path, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. If you were doing a, a second playthrough, maybe, but I know, Procure Kilo 7, you fought the, the, the second chainsaw van in the village. Why aren't you going to go after the, the second path? Well, there are dogs that way. I don't know. So we're going to ignore that and just head down the path that they want us. Oh look, it's Esteban. That's... that's not good. Ooh, the eyes there. Oh, that was easy. Oh good, he left us with gold. Take out his friend first. Uh oh. Back up! This is what's known as the Lost Plagas. They will start appearing from here on out, not just at night time, but all enemies can have potential to have them. This is the Plagas Type 1, so they are pretty dangerous because of that white swing they got, so keep your distance. Or, you know, use your shotgun or your rifle. This river is freaking huge. It is. I could have sold the one I got back earlier, but yeah, whatever. Let's see. Oh, good, a rope. We can go down from here. Because, uh. Yeah, we're gonna deal with all this. What is this? I always like to compare this game to a Zelda game, basically. It's just modern, basically. Pick up the rifle. That guy. But, okay, he's good. Because there is a spin-off here. Now we're gonna take a second to shoot these two boxes right here. Because we need to get across this uh, river somehow. And there is a convenient box right here. You could, you're supposed to shoot the chain on your first playthrough. You could just shoot the box or something. So. Yo, 
know, that was surprisingly easy. There was only like one guy here. Oh, oh there they are. I want to have glasses on. Just gonna. Just give myself more room. Oh no, he has a torch. What do I do? Oh, he set himself up here. And his head is tough. There goes your head. Whoa, watch it. There we go. You still alive? Mm, that'll do it. Before we go, yep. Yeah. The treasure, the Ember Ring. Big door with ominous looking circle with the insignia on it. Good. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. Well, we'll go wherever this leads us to. Got some barrels here. Morphosate us. Also, this is a good point to point out that bats are pretty harmless, but Leon will freak out and look at them every time they fly by. Oh, convenient boat. And that leads us to the merchant I passed up earlier. So now I can clean up on these barrels and... I don't think there's anything available for upgrade, but it wouldn't hurt to check. I mean, he's right there. Weapons that are here to start a small war. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. The store isn't updated. You're full of crap. What are you selling? What are you buying? What are you buying? We're pretty much good on all fronts, I guess. What are you selling? Yeah, okay. Uh, might as well sell that. Ah. Yeah. So Thank you. Good. Is that all? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good to go. Okay. So you remember that big area we were at with all the crows and I threw that flashbang at them? There was that big door with what seven like a monster behind it. I'm sure nothing was going to happen. Exactly why I bought the TMP. Rapid fire. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go over here to reload. Okay, he didn't like that. Ooh. Okay, there's the plug on his back. So what we're gonna do is take out the shotgun. And then climb on top of them. There we go. Don't think 
you like that very much. Hey, hey easy fella. I, I got this. It's okay. Hey. Oh, it's that dog. Hey, it's that dog. So if you save the dog at the beginning with the bear trap, he'll come to help you in the LG Gante fight. His name is Yui. Yeah, don't worry about the dog, he'll be fine. Shotgun. Scout. Wow, I got him faster than I thought I would. Usually it would take a second night to get that far, but well he's dead. See, this is why I, I, in a recent art I did, I always said when I was a teenager I wanted to be as badass as you. I just took out that guy by himself. That's pretty awesome. And yeah, for our troubles we get 15,000 potatoes. Yes. Okay. Let's grab all the spoils. Hopefully we have room. There's a yellow herb we could use. There we go. Um, yeah, check the houses too. There was probably stuff in them. The dog took off. The, don't worry about it. He served his purpose. Oh. We're in our room again. In here? Okay, I can take that. There's some money here for some reason. And... There we go. Oh no! Yeah, that was El Gigante. It wasn't too bad. Probably one of the more fun bosses in this game. I mean, I like most of the bosses in this game. Yeah. Almost to the church. Almost there. Here? No, it's more TMP ammo. Is it worth it? Yeah, I, I like to hang on to TMP ammo, so... Uh, I guess I'll get rid of my eggs. Rip egg. Okay, then we come up here and... Do you see that silhouette? Or just the... few steps closer. There's a dog. It's not our dog, so... That guy just moved too fast for it. Oh well. I usually get him on the first incendiary grenade because you'll find that dogs are very weak to incendiary grenades for some reason. Got. Okay, we're here. Uh, church is making me uncomfortable. Especially if it's very quiet. This insignia is everywhere. I don't know if it's a religion from this region. Nothing here. I didn't test it out, but uh, plugas are weak to flash grenades. It'll just kill them in one shot, so keep that in mind if you ever come across a group of them. Push the button immediately, you'll jump right across. Oh boy, puzzle time! Alright, let's see. Gotta match the colors, so start with the red one. One, two. Do the red, the green one now. One, two, three. And now we'll do the blue one. And combine them all. 
It's a matter of just looking at them. <laughs> You'll find that most of the puzzles in this game are pretty piss easy. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's not a brain tickler of any kind. But let's rescue Ashley. Ashley! Don't come! Hey! Take it easy! No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's no, I'm right. afraid of a different country. I have to get you state. out of here. Now come with me. I, I'm afraid of a different country. I have a different president than you. Who do you think I am? It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over I right away. Where's the extraction point? Just said, yeah, There's I got another her. trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. And now this game's biggest thing. A, tutor a tutorial on how to escort Ashley, because this game is half tutorial, or half escort, excuse me, got tutorial on my mind, I guess. It's not too complicated. Press a button to follow and uh, make her wait. Catch her at ladders. If she needs help, give her health. And if they get through a door, uh, that a green door specifically, then you lose her, apparently, so game over. But yeah. Thankfully, most of the time when you attack, she'll get right behind you, so you can't hurt her. That is the weird thing, though. If a villager offhandedly swings at you and hits her, it won't kill her outright. But if you accidentally shoot or knife her, she'll die in one hit. I, I, don't, I don't know what the properties of that are exactly. I mean, you would think most people would climb down a ladder, but... Yeah, yeah you're gonna have to do that every time you get to a ladder, so keep that up. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnapped the President's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. We're good, we're on our way home now. They shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. <laughs> you okay? Uh, Leon. What's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. Uh. And that's the end of the chapter. Look at that, 98%, 14 enemies killed. A little hiccup with the uh, dogs towards the church, but eh, what can you do? Next time on Resident Evil 4, it looks like we're going to be going to a cabin of sorts while we protect Ashley. I'm Kokari Kano7, and I'll see you guys in the next one.